See, the problem is, Jordan, my nephew, he's small for his age. And like most small kids where I come from, they constantly get picked on. But I'm gonna tell you something, you ain't got to be big to be tough. You look at one all-time boxing great Sugar Ray Litter. Over here. What's up, Ray, baby? How you doing now? My man Ray, he was small, but he was wiry. He was like the little Japanese cars. I mean, compact, agile, built for speed and had endurance. And I can bet you if someone called him a sis, I had my dollar make change out of his ass. <laughs> hey, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Let me, <clears throat> I'm excited. Let's move, let's move on. Let's move on. <clears throat> now, Ray, seriously speaking, from a champion perspective, how would you assess my nephew's skill? Bernie, it, it seems to me that Jordan lacks speed. Uh -huh. This man has zero self-confidence uh -huh. and is totally lacking in the fundamentals to make a great fighter. I mean, he's, he, he, he's the loser. So he, he definitely gonna get his ass with that. Oh, I will seriously consider homeschooling. Ray, the boy's real soft. I mean soft. He's like liquid, you know. He needs more than fundamentals. He needs something like divine intervention, and that's why I come in. I was teaching my nephew a few playground moves, man, in case he get in trouble. First thing I told him is, if somebody mess with you, pick up some sand, and you throw it in their face, and you take off running. That always worked for me when I was little, you know. Or you can improvise, especially if you around some, some objects. Let me see that book. See here? That's this book that I was reading. See, look, I'm reading. Mm -hmm. I'm reading, catch your mind in your penis. Somebody come at you, bam! Hit him right in the throat, right in the throat. Drop the book and start running. Oh, boy, I was dangerous when I was going up, Ray. I'll tell you. Now, now, Ray, be honest with me. The few techniques that I just showed you and the people, what do you think my nephew's chances are right now? Don't get too attached to the boy. You still gonna have trouble? Yes, big trouble. Welcome back. When you think of boxing biggest bullies, you think of men with menacing, icy stares that could freeze their opponents cold. Brutes who beat their foes into submission. Men whose very name struck fear in the hearts of giants. Men like Sonny Liston, Big George Foreman, Mike Tyson, Bernie Mac. These bullies Hold on, are hey, so hey, 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 hold on now. What? I ain't no bully. What are you saying? I'm saying I don't know where you think I'm a bully from. Well, Bernie, if you check your record out, it's clear. You've always been a bully. That's not true. That ain't true. Not true? No. OK. Let's go to videotape. Hey, baby girl, can I watch the TV with you? OK. OK, thank you. Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh, don't cry, <laughs> Brianna. Bears <laughs> gonna win. What a terrible mismatch. A heavyweight versus a flyweight picking on a little girl. I don't want to do this no more, Ray. And now, the main event will be profiled a series of bouts between Bernie and his greatest rival, little Magic Man Jordan. That's funny. came out. It just came out. It just came out. Get in there, boy, before I throw you in. Oh, one thing of bad. Shut up. Oh, one thing of bad. Hey, that was my brownie. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No. Yes, it was. No. It was on a bag with my name on it. Yeah. We found him. Hmm? Won't you leave? Okay. Bully. I ain't no bully. I know y'all don't think I'm no bully, do you? But y'all can get out of my house, too. He lucky he left when he did. Huh. Shit. He retired. He ain't got like that no more. <laughs> he gone, ain't he? 
<laughs> I'm sorry, man. I didn't have the heart to tell him to wait outside while you and I, we talk. But I gotta be honest with you, he's a little pathetic. I'm embarrassed for my friend. He's become a shell of himself. I'm not sure what to do. Can you kids keep it down out there? I'm talking. Damn kids. Wait a minute. I think I got it. But we don't want to. Come on, game. Be a sport. Jordan, show me a magic trick or do that thing you do with your eyelid. Flip them over or something. And baby girl, wear your barber down. The man needs cheering up. Help me out. But he scares me. He eats baby cows. And he pees with the door open. Listen, for once in your life, think about somebody beside yourself, young grateful urchins. Now I want you to go over there and show some love. Get it. I said get out! But baby, please! No butts! You make me sick! I need a man, not a child! So leave! Take your stupid clothes and your stupid comic books and leave! They're not stupid comic books. They're collector's items. And I love you. I don't care. I only love myself. And I'm too selfish to consider your needs. I don't want to be alone. Don't do this to me. Get used to it. And stop driving by my house. <laughs> I don't know what to do, America. I can't ask him to leave. But Kelly's making this house very uncomfortable for everybody. I'm sorry you got to see this. <laughs> Kelly, Kelly, come here. Pull yourself together, man. I don't know what to do. I man. don't know what to do. First of all, you start acting like a man. Shut up! <laughs> Tough love. What? as it is to be those kids' parents, you got to be your friend's friend, too. Oh, hey, hey, Cal. Oh, I want to say something to you. First of all, I want to say I'm sorry. And I know I've been acting a bit of an ass, man. And you know what? You're my friend. And more important, you like my blood. It means a lot to me, Bernie. You know I love you, man. I love you, too, man. I'm sorry, Cal. It's all good, man. Hey. Yeah, I know I stayed here a little bit longer than I planned. No, 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 no. But it's cool. You ain't got to sweat it. I found a place. Oh, you did, huh? Yeah, I'm moving on Monday. But look here, Cal, you can stay here until Monday. No, it's OK. You got the kids and everything. Plus, I need to be able to stay someplace where I can be a slob and walk around in my drawers. Hey, you all packed up? Yeah. Let's go. No way this dog is going back to the dog on power right now. I ain't got to work out, do I? Now, what am I going to do with those kids? They gave me the perfect gift idea. See, I can always punish them for being deceitful. But how often can I give them the perfect Christmas gift? I'm going to take them to the vet, get them all cleaned up. They're going to be so thrilled with this dog. I can hear them, please, Uncle Bernie, please, we'll take care of them pretty, please. No. Good boy. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Good boy. Bernie Mac, that is so sneaky. I know, isn't it great? Yeah. <laughs> Listen, go in there and keep him busy. Okay. I'm going to drive around the block a couple of times and then put the dog in the, in the pool shed. Okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Dog, you're going to make this the best Christmas ever. <laughs> oh, OK, relax. Don't worry. I'm not a screw. I went right out and got the dog back, see? I didn't lie. Bernie Mac is not a monster. He just tragically misunderstood. I gotta drink all of this tonight or else it'll go bad. What? I ain't driving. I hope the kid's satisfied. I really do. You want some? Yeah. You walking. You don't need them. <laughs> oh, 
Come on, now nah, don't look at me like that, America. I mean, the, the boy was just choking on the press, so that could happen anywhere. Am I am I wrong, Billy? Billy was at the game. He saw the game. The boy had a good time. Tell him, Billy. No, it's true. Hi, how you doing? I was sitting just a few rows in front of him. You really got to get some courtside seats. Well, my, my friend, he, he called me the last yeah, minute. Yeah, but you're sitting way back. I, I, he lied to me. Uh, yeah, but I'm sitting in the front row. I had two rebounds and an assist. You know, and you're way, way back there. Anyway, they were having a great time. It was kind of beautiful. You know, boy and his father figure, right? What could be more American than that? It was cool. You see? You see? That's what I'm talking, talking about, Billy. Mm -hmm. see, see, that, see, that ain't no big deal. I had the boy fake a little uh, asthma attack. No big deal. Wait, wait, wait. You had him fake an asthma attack? He, he do it all the time, Billy. You, you don't know him. Oh, I, I don't understand this. You, you had him fake an illness so you could go to a Clipper game? I just had him do the wheeze, and I didn't let him swallow his tongue. Oh, that's so big of you. For a Clipper game. What happens if they make the playoffs? What do you do then? Do you stop his heart? I mean, asthma's not a funny thing, Bernie, you know? I, I, I had asthma when I was a kid. I mean, I, you know, I was born in New York, and I started, you know, getting excited about things, and before I know it, I'm in Phoenix, you let, know, because let, it's let, dry. Let, let's move on, and Billy. Then, and then, you know, it's not funny, and I'd be in, you know, class, and I'd get agitated, and I'd start, uh, here, i start to... Put it in your book. Uh, anyway, America, funny. I had a good time. The boy had a, the boy had a good time, and I just got to get... I need my breath a lot. Not funny, man. It's one last hurdle. Comedy's not funny. Not funny. <laughs> you taking, you taking, you going over here with, going over here with this villain. He, he do... He, I just want he do her. He don't ever do her. He always cut the camera off. Cut the camera off. Help me. Not funny, Bernie. Anyway, America, they did have a good time. The boy did have a good time, but now he's got to get past one last hurdle. I'm just kidding. You got a lot of nerve, Billy. You want something to drink? <laughs> <laughs>